collector swap number four. So, uh, if you've been in this community for a little bit, you probably know about this already, but just in case you don't, this is a swap put on by the amazing Mama J. Uh, she has done this throughout the year last year, and this was the first one in 2021. Um, and it's really fun. It's a way for the community to kind of get together. You meet new people because you get put into a uh, group chat group chat on Instagram. And it's people who, you know, you've never, some of them you know, uh, and some of them you don't. And so you get to make new friends and also just get something in return, honestly. It's such a fun, fun way to interact with each other. Uh, but everyone gets swapped around. We don't know who got who. You know, I know who I sent my box off to. Uh, I have no idea who sent me this one because if you look, the address has been completely blacked out other than my uh, public mailbox. So that is unhelpful, but <laughs> it makes it more fun to open. So I don't know who got me, but I do know that there are 62 possibilities. <laughs> In the description box below, you will find links to all thir is it? all 63 channels that have participated in this swap uh for this go around there will be more uh in the coming year so if you want if you haven't been a part of any of the collector swaps in the past but wish to be a part of the next one uh keep a lookout on mama j's instagram and a lot of our instagrams because a lot of us share it when she posts it and then you contact her and you sign up for the next swap so before i get into this uh, this was supposed to be a uh, blind build. Uh, basically, we were supposed to make the boxes reflect ourselves. Uh, so we put stuff in it that we love to collect. Uh, and that makes it a real mystery box because you don't know what you're getting. So the person who got me got a bunch of DC stuff along with a few other little things that I like to collect. Um, some of you uh, probably know the person that I sent mine to. It is the Golden Collectibles. So, you guys can go check him out to see what I sent him. I thought it was a very interesting box. But, uh, let's put this down. This is the heaviest box I've ever received. So, right on top, there's bubble wrap. It looks like everything... Okay. There's some stuff that's out and some not. So, there is an open last here. So, I'm opening that last. Let's put my knife away. So I'm just gonna go for everything that's visible so far. And right on top, we got some candies, it looks like. We have Sonho de Vasla and Oro Monte. I don't know what these are. They appear to be Spanish. I mean, I imagine they're chocolate, but that's kind of cool. I'm gonna save these for later, but that's kind of interesting. I like trying different candies. So that's pretty damn cool. So put those aside and then it looks like we got some kind of blind bag here, God of War. Kid, Ro Kid Robot makes awesome uh, blind bag figures. They really do. I don't know much about uh, God of War. I know there's been some pops made of it. So let's just go ahead. I might have needed to keep my knife out. <laughs> but I know Kid Robot's done a bunch of different stuff. I used to be very into collecting their DC lines, so. There's a lot of gamers in the community, so this doesn't really help me narrow it down that much yet. <laughs> and some people probably put stuff in there that they didn't really care about, honestly. I know I put some doubles <laughs> in mine. And, oh, okay, so we got one of, like, the ice figures. So this is Kratos. This is a 3 in 24. So it's, it's this dude, but he's, like, in ice form or something. So if anyone plays the game, let me know why he's blue. Again, I imagine it's some kind of ice and he has an axe. If you do get Kid Robot figures, guys, uh, please check the uh, bag as you go in because Kid Robot is very sneaky. Um, I saw some, again, back to the DC stuff. I remember people uh, getting like the uh, Red Hood or the uh, Green Arrow and they were like, it would have been really cool if he came with his guns or it would be really cool if he came with his quiver and arrow. It did. They were just separate in the bag, in the box. So that is pretty damn cool. Again, I'm not familiar with it, but this looks like a damn cool figure. Uh, and if I look online and it's not worth that much, I might just customize it. Because that's what I do. I customize stuff. <laughs> Can he stand? So it looks like other than his arms, he is a stagnant figure. 
and he doesn't really want to stand up all that well. But there you go. If you put his arms down, you can move his arms. But if you want him to stand, you have to leave it to his side. It's kind of stupid. But nice start, though. I like collecting. I love little blind guy figures. And this thing looks cool. So this Dodge A100. So some kind of vehicle. It almost looks like an old Matchbox one. It says this is a limited production of 17 or 17 7,000 pieces worldwide that's pretty damn cool m2 machines i'm not familiar with this brand but this looks damn cool and it's limited number so hell yeah pretty awesome i will keep this in box <laughs> if it's something limited number i'll keep it in box so it looks like we have one more thing that is visible and this is something that i'm definitely into this is the gamer batman pez from the uh, gamer box that uh, GameStop released, it wasn't last year, was it? It was 2019. Pretty cool. I know I glittered one of these, so I might glitter metallic that one. So that'd be really cool. I do have one in my collection, but I've been customizing the other. So all the others here, I see three or four stacks, and then I see this. And there's no uh, numbers, it looks like. Uh, to indicate to me how to open this. So I'm actually going to start with these. They look like comics. And I know who's... Well, I know a lot of people who's into comics in the community. So if I know what kind of comics these are, it might give me a hint to know who sent this. So... If someone who knows how to package comics, I'll tell you that much right now. So let's get all of these out. They're still blank. Let's make sure I got them all. Yes. I'm keeping this for whenever I have to send comics because I've been thinking about doing that. Uh, selling a few of my comics. But. Alright. So. Oh, I'm seeing some DC stuff. Oh, right out of the gate. This is awesome. This is Etrigan the Demon. Uh, number one of six. Wow, that is an epic look. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at it. <laughs> I love Etrigan so damn much. There needs to be a pop of this dude. Like, for real. Please let there be a pop of this dude sometime in the future. But race you to hell. That is freaking awesome. I love that. That is amazing. Uh, and it looks like these are some older comics, which always love doing that. So this is the Omega Men. Uh, special issue... That is neat. It says it costs 25 cents at one point. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Someone, I think, forgot to put to keep this on. Either that or I was supposed to open this last and I didn't realize it. So, there, there's actually a name on the back. I think I know who this is now. <laughs> Okay, hang on. I'm gonna keep going though. Oh yeah, definitely know who this is because it's on this side too. <laughs> I know who this is now. Okay, so this is the Young All Stars. That is really freaking cool. I love this. I know I've recognized some of these characters, but I don't. These older uh, characters, some of them I know and some of them I don't. Uh, but I definitely recognize a lot of them. Here's more of the Omega Men. This is going to be awesome to go read through. This is going to be freaking awesome. This person knows me. I will say that. If the name on the back is any indication, I know this person and she knows me. So, Superboy, Future's End. I never read this one, so that is freaking cool. This is one of those lithographs. I got this one in my last... I got a Wonder Woman one in my last uh, swap box. So, this is freaking cool. Absolutely love that. Now, this one I'm not. This one's a Marvel, and she is more Marvel. That's why she gave me her DC. Uh, Miracle Man. DC has a Mr. Miracle. They, you know, DC and Marvel, they do like to rip off each other a little bit. So, I don't know if this has any, is any way uh, like Mr. Miracle. I doubt it. But, we'll see. And, oh, this is awesome. A team, I love the team-ups. Superman and Batgirl. This is gorgeous. I love this. 
This comic is just epic. If there's one thing that I will definitely always love, it's Team Up com comics, especially the older stuff, because I love the look of older uh, DC comics. So let's tear the rest of this masking tape off. I don't think she realized that she had her name on the back. I imagine this was given to her in some swaps or something, or some mystery boxes, <laughs> or AOKs or something. Uh, so that's kind of funny. So <laughs> I'm not telling you guys who it is. I'm letting you guys guess now, but I, I'm telling you, it's someone I know, it's someone I love, and it's a girl. <laughs> but, and this one is Superman and Zatanna. So this is Zatanna in her older look. You can see, I do have an action figure of her from her older uh, look here. So that is very freaking cool. The only bad thing about this is I'm afraid to open these kinds of comics because, again, they're very uh, on the older side. Uh, so uh, you can tell partially how old they are if they had that comic code authority on them. Because uh, that's long gone now, thank God. But <laughs> let me know if you want a story on the comic code authority because I can make a rant video about that. But anyway, I absolutely love every single one of those comics. Some of them are going to get framed, and some of them I'll look up on the DC Universe app and see if I can read them without messing with the actual book. Uh, especially that demon, that Etrigan and the Demon. Love that. So again, these are all uh, sealed. Doesn't show anything, so let's open it up. And right off the bat, we have Mr. Fantastic. Did I? No, I did not take this one out. Or did I? Wait a minute, this is the same, okay, so this is the same Mr. Fantastic that I used in my Rubber Duck custom. If you guys follow the channel, you'll know that I did the uh, Zoo Crew customs last year. Uh, I said I was going to do another custom series this year, but I haven't started it yet. Sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, this is the same pop I used for that, so I now I have a replacement for that, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I do like having an extra one of this, because if you, I ever want to do, like, Elongated Man or something like that, uh... Like, I have the other Mr. Fantastic. I don't necessarily... Uh, in fact, I think the common actually is worth more than the exclusive that I still have for some reason. Um, but anyway, I can always use one of them to make another custom. So, love that. And I do love Fantastic Four. I do. That's why I have a Mr. Fantastic in my thing. Anyway, so... That's not a pop. I'm going to save that. So. Okay. This is a pop, probably. Hades, this is, yes, it's the diamond one. Thank you. I didn't, I never got the diamond uh, edition. Yes, Hercules is a set that I do want to complete, now, complete eventually. And with this, I still need the Chase version of this one. And I need the Chase Hercules. I have the original Chase Hades. Um, but yeah, this is awesome. I'm not going to take him out because, let's face it, he's boring. But this one I'm going to take out because, yes, this is the first time I'm seeing this one. Like, it's the same sculpt as the other one, but this is the first time I'm seeing the diamond. Oh, the diamond's good. That is awesome. So, they cut the diamond to just his robes and his hair, which I think works perfectly. Uh, in the Glow in the Dark one that originally came out at Hot Topic, uh, the entire skin glue as well as his fire hair. So, this is really and cool that diamond in the hair just looks awesome i think they could have done a darker black for the robes but other than that this is awesome and again this is one that i kept missing out on i never did get the restocks for it so absolutely love that thank you and she didn't know that i needed this pop so that's just <laughs> good luck right there so to be honest if that if that uh didn't have her name on it I probably wouldn't be guessing her right now <laughs> if those comics didn't have her name on it although this was a hint I'm now seeing that <laughs> the candy itself was a hint so I don't think it might not be Spanish so I was thinking so but and this one yeah this one's not for me <laughs> but I know everyone and their mom is obsessed with the office uh, I'm not so I'm not gonna take this one out out it'll probably go to either be resold or something uh to be honest with you but or i might keep it for a custom it's wearing a suit so i might keep it for a custom but this is princeton mike prison or prison mike he's supposed to act like he's in prison or something but yeah that suit could actually be used 
it's hard to find uh pops wearing certain types of clothing uh surprisingly enough so yeah i'll probably go ahead and keep this one in my custom pile for future use so that's freaking cool three awesome pops absolutely love that and again this hades was something that i was looking for so let's see what's running around here and then we'll get to the letter she's watching this right now i'm like they had my name on the <laughs> comic books i'll show it in the end before before i open up the la letter i'll show you guys the names on the back of that but oh this is a bunch of goodies oh wow okay it's pouring out so <laughs> Okay, first off, to match the Pez, we have the Pocket Pop version right there. And then, let me move this a little bit so you guys can see just a little bit better. And then here from Loot Crate, it's some kind of compass. That's kind of cute. I'll go ahead and put this on my pin board because it actually looks pretty damn awesome. It's like an old compass. So I'm guessing this went to an old theme for uh, Loot Crate. And there's another pin down here no idea what this is alita ba battle angel that's a movie right hashtag never seen it so yeah you guys can tell me what this is all about it looks like a knockoff version of this death star to be honest with you and okay i know plastic man <laughs> i know this one so yeah this is came from zanini box awesome awesome uh so i didn't know they actually made plastic man i knew they were making justice league but I thought they, I know the hot girl in, that I have that Mama J sent me, uh, I know it was based off of the animated series, and Plastic Man was never part of the animated series, so that's kind of fun that they put him in there. Uh, and then we have some blind bag figures. So from Captain Marvel, we have, I forget what this person's name was. Uh, and it's got some stuff on it. Really? You didn't bother to clean this up before you sent it to me? <laughs> It's okay, I probably got some crap on mine too. I got paint on my on my box probably. So, and then after that we have a little bitty uh, Thanos. I'm not really sure where this would have come from. Did they make mystery minis with just the pocket pops? I honestly cannot remember. And then we have two characters from uh, Star Wars. I feel like I should know this guy this like older Luke or something <laughs> I can't tell who this guy is I know this dude's Chewbacca <laughs> I know Chewbacca but I can't tell who this guy is so if you guys know who that is let me know but I definitely know Chewbacca Chewbacca is definitely a keeper and then we have the uh, I keep wanting to call this guy Sir Hoots a lot <laughs> because that's the name of the owl in Monster High but it's the uh, uh, Tootsie Roll or to to Tootsie Pop owl to see the owl or something like that mystery mini very cute i kept wanting to get the pop of this one but never did and now i'm kind of glad <laughs> uh because it would have been part of the purge <laughs> that i was doing through february so this says loot anime yumi bookmark okay I don't know who Yumi is, but she's pretty. And that is a really freaking cool looking bookmark. It almost has like a butterfly-like look to it. And she's holding like a book in her hand. So that's pretty damn sweet. Okay, this is totally <laughs> me showing what the true nerd I am. But if you look at just the silhouette, doesn't it kind of look like Malamar from Pokemon? <laughs> but <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. Uh, so a lot of stuff that I absolutely love in this box, including the comics and the pops and a few other little extra goodies. I definitely love these pins. Like, holy crap, these look awesome. And again, some of these mystery minis, I like to decorate my shelves with them. So absolutely cool. So before I get to the last part, let me just show you guys what I was looking at before. Anyone recognize this name? Geeky Mama one and then on this one geeky mama bear so yeah i think i can figure out that this is from juliana so <laughs> let's see what she put in here uh because i do hear or feel some stuff rattling around so this is actually really fun uh i've gotten paired with people who i knew in the past with these uh, swaps but uh never ones that i actually like talk to and uh communicate with 
on a regular basis. So it's really cool that I got uh, linked up with a friend this time. So that is really freaking sweet. But yeah, this is definitely Geeky Mama Bear. I got her little uh, pin here. I will be putting that on the pin board as well. And just so you guys know, if you guys ever get these from us, or, you know, because I have pins too, and a few others, they come with a film on it, and they honestly look like trash <laughs> when you first take them out. But if you peel that fi film off, it'll look brand new. Uh, it's just to protect it. So that's why the film looks bad. <laughs> so same thing with these little keychains. Uh, you just have to take that film off and they look amazing. So that is her logo. And then this is her little Doctor Who uh, TARDIS keychain. Really freaking cool. And it looks like we got a bunch of stickers too. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. I haven't seen that sticker yet. Hang on. I'm trying to get all the stickers out before I get to the card. So we have her itty bitty little logo sticker. We have these, which I don't think I've ever gotten this sticker from her before. But this one, oh, I've never seen this sticker before. I think she took like the Wee Bear Bears um, pop, the Ice Bear or whatever, and then kind of photoshopped it just a little bit. Look at that. That is adorable. <laughs> Oh, Juliana, that is hilarious. That is so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. One thing about Juliana, she loves to like do these little personalized notes. That's really cool. Caitlin, I hope you enjoyed at least one thing in the in that blind box. Sorry I wasn't able to cater at least one item to your like what are you talking about? Girl, you know I'm DC. Those comics scream me, and so does that Hades. So I absolutely love it there was plenty of items in this box that are catered to my liking i really wanted to send you a custom tea but i'm out of solid teas at the moment i don't care just just so you know i'm a huge fan of yours i know and, and as and yours as you are an amazing human being lots of love hashtag we are funko family hashtag all things geek all things nerd juliana geeky mama bear i absolutely love juliana um she's so down to earth she's such a good person uh she's willing to give like advice to people new in the community um i know several people have told me that juliana helped them when they first started uh and she she's just an awesome person i've been friends with her pretty much ever since she became a part of the community uh so very valued friend absolutely love her uh so very much so absolutely love this box but juliana you gotta tell me are these Portuguese? Is that what these are? So, if so, I'm even more excited because I don't think... I've definitely tried, like, Mexican candies and stuff before, but I don't think I've ever tried anything, like, Brazilian. So, that'd be kind of cool. But, yeah, so I'm definitely going to be trying these out. And absolutely love that these all, again, came from a friend. So, absolutely love this. Again, guys, her link, along with every other person who, who uh, contributed to this swap, will be in the description description box below a lot of them uh are brand new channels for the most part a lot of them weren't around when we were doing the last swap uh or they were around but they were just brand new so a lot of new names i know in my uh group chat alone there were several people who i wasn't familiar with at first um so definitely a lot of new channels that you guys can go check out and sub to and just spread the support around again i got the golden collectible so if you guys uh want to see what i said to him that box is definitely me <laughs> i will say that and he seemed to enjoy it as well and i have to go uh message juliana and thank her for all this stuff because this is honestly really freaking cool so thank you so much juliana for putting this box together for me and thank you mama jay for putting this swap together for all of us again guys i hope you go guys enjoy this video i hope you go in the description box below and check out uh, at least most of the other channels. I know it's a lot of videos to watch in one day, uh, but spread it out throughout the week and you'll be good. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. And remember guys, like always, it's a community, not a competition. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.